Hello and welcome back to a revisit of a classic arcade repair. Moon Alien. I just finished this one and I was getting ready to come out here and box it up and get it shipped back and I turned it on and lo and behold there was a problem. This thing failed the burn-in test and I just didn't realize it because we have an issue. And once we get around to the uh, diving sprites, you'll see it. Any day now. I did run into another problem with this that I just fixed. Here we go. All right, now watch the sprites dive. Yeah, see that? He showed up right at the bottom. Now these guys disappear. They just, yeah. I had to go back and look at the video and make sure it wasn't doing this all along, and it was not doing this. When I finished the video, it was acting the way that it should. So something failed, and I don't like the way that this board this copycat galaxian board i don't like a certain circuit that they omitted because i know it has been proven by myself to cause similar issues to what i'm seeing here although this is not the issue because i made in a i i did a mod to this board here is this circuit with these this is the Moon Alien uh, schematic. And these are those, these RAMs right here on the bottom of the board. And you see the bits come out. You see where it says data out. And then there's a pull up resistor right there. And then they come out, and these bits are all processed over here. It's called static and dynamic character mixing so it's mixing moving characters and non-moving characters basically is what it's doing I think our failure lies in here uh, that's where I'm going to start I'm going to start at the end of this mixing and, and work my way back but what I did and I'm gonna let me show you a Galaxian board this is a Galaxian a Galaxian board and here's those five rams right and the way the galaxian works it's got this 174 right here what this 174 does is it all of the output bits from these ram get buffered by this 174 and the 174 drives those ram bits out to that circuitry now i have seen from doing bootleg Galaxian style boards goofiness in the sprites based on this circuit not being present so what I did on this particular board was I built that circuit you'll see right here I have a 174 right there I just used that spot and I have run the bits actually from the bottom of the board you see that hole I, I put a little hole in the board right there and the RAM data output bits come up into the inputs of this and then the outputs are going to where these resistors are and you have to just cut the cut the little trace from pin 6 that goes to here because pin 6 goes directly to here so what I did is I just cut that trace and then I did my little orange wires from pin 6 up through this hole and over to the input of this and what's clocking it is the clock signal from right here the actual clock signal is what's clocking that so that and I'll show you how that looks how it was it was like okay here's pin 6 that's pin 6 that's the RAM bit 
all right that was going over and being and I'll show you what this looks like when there's actual sprite movement right now it's just at that moon alien you know once it gets to the diving sprites and stuff then you actually have activity on these ram eventually it'll get there yeah but uh, I don't know if it's just the physics of those RAM chips or what it is but some of them have issues with driving this circuitry and you get funkiness see here's see those bits how they're acting you can see them you can see that I mean it looks like crap though so what the regular Galaxian does is it sends this signal right here over to that 174 to be cleaned up and driven so that's what I've done here I've got the output going I believe that one is this one right here okay and this is the output of that look how good that looks this is the output of the 174 so what we've done is I've, I've just cleaned that signal up and now letting this 174 drive it and then that is jumped over to this right here and it goes over to the circuitry so I just added this missing 174 that they just don't put in in these bootlegs and I don't understand why it just eliminates having issues with these RAM so yeah okay so all right I gotta find this problem that didn't fix my problem when I did that when I did because I did try just swapping some different types of RAM in here and the problem just didn't go away another thing that I did one of the problems was this 2k volume pot was intermittent it was garbage so I had to replace it um, it would uh, go wide open or something it, it would either short or whatever it was doing it was making the speaker full blast like just noise and you would tap it and it'd, it'd stop and stuff so I had to replace that 2k pot and these right here this remember that little satellite board here here and here all that these things are this is this takes place of a 273 that's all this is it's got a 174 right here and a 74 right here and all that's doing is this is six flip-flops this is two flip-flops so instead of using a 273 they used this it's the same functionality as a 273 so there were two of those 273s and then this is a 245 and what they were doing was using this in place of a 245 it's two LS 241s and some control circuitry a, th a 32 and a 04 very strange so this is just they were using this instead of a, a of a 245 so I just replaced the sockets because the sockets were blown out because of these and I put 273s and a 245 in it's just cleaner it's way better that way oh and I recapped up here too I replaced all these electrolytics so yeah I've done some work to this board since I finished it so yeah I got the new caps new pot um, I added this driver circuitry so you won't have to worry about these Rams you know you can use open collector Ram you can use regular Ram whatever now those signals will be cleaned up and driven by this 174 so that's good but we got to figure out what's going on over here with this so I'm gonna start I, maybe I should start at the beginning of this circuitry we have our RAM here um, static and dynamic can character mixing uh, 
Um, we got character stuff over here. The mixing is there. Here's dynamic control. I should start maybe with this dynamic control. There's here's control stuff here. Yeah. Let me look at this the schematic a little bit better. I have to look at it under the microscope or the magnifier because it's just too small. So I want to look at this a little bit better and find out exactly where I want to start looking. Do I want to work my way back or do I want to work my way forward? So, yeah, let me think about it. All right, I decided to start poking around at this section right here, just this dynamic um, DMA control stuff. It's basically the addressing to these guys. So I'm checking the addressing circuitry for these, this, the addressing for this uh, RAM. And I got to right here 3S, 12 and 13 out to 11. And it looks like those are RAM bits or RAM uh, addresses that are processed back. And um, they have something to do with the data going in. I, I, I don't. I'm not going to claim to sit and know how that works. It looks. It's just wired up. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this 32 here. We have that or that. This is an OR gate. So we should definitely have some highs, right? And this is the output. The output is just low. That does not make logical sense. So what is this? We have RAM data bits, or not beta, data bits. This is the addressing to these. And then those bits are being picked. Some of those, the upper, the upper bits. The lower, or yeah, the upper, the upper address bits of the RAM are being processed in with blank to blank the data, to uh, you know turn off data going in or something, I, I, something like that. I don't know. It's data manipulation. Let's put it that way. This, these ad, the upper address bits are being processed to manipulate the data going into those RAMs somehow. So we have an issue here with this 32. So, well, first things first, let's get that thing replaced. Yeah, I um, just replaced that side. I removed that 32 and put a socket in there and I get, I'll take this opportunity to show you what I did here with these RAMs. You can see where I've got the uh, pin 6, little trace cut there on each of these, and then got a wire going from pin 6, which is the output bit, through this hole, drilled a little hole, and that hole right there just comes up through the ground plane right here, and those go to the inputs of this. And then the outputs go to where these little resistors are. So it just put this in that circuit. So yeah, it's what you do there. And like, like you've seen there, it just cleans up and it drives those RAM bits. Because uh, I'm telling you, I've had problems with certain types of RAMs in these boards do not drive those bits. And you get funkiness. So, yeah, I don't know why they didn't put that in there when they bootlegged this board, but they didn't, and uh, it should be there. So, and now it is. So I'll put this thing back together, I'll put this 32 in there, and see what we get. Okay, I just turned it on, and if we look at that bit, that 32 I replaced, here's the input the other input and now we have an output 
So hopefully now we're getting, hopefully now this thing looks like it works right. We gotta wait for it to cycle through. Should make a change, right? I mean, it's definitely, definitely was an issue. All right, here we go. That looks better. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's working. That was the issue. It was in the uh, the addressing to the RAM. The the uh, the blinking signal the, to uh, blink out the data. I believe is what that was doing. Anyway, very good. So some vast improvements to this board. We've got a nice driver here driving those ram bits out to that circuit and caps and new pot um, replaced these sockets and just put regular chips in those things were just i mean they they obviously didn't have 273s so they used this weird all right now guys that's gonna do it hopefully this thing works for the duration now you can see it sounds perfect yeah that uh, this thing would have full blast static noise with that old pot it, it just and then I'd tap on it and it'd quiet down it was weird There we go. Diving. Dive bomb. Dive bomb. There it is. All right. Very well. Guys, thanks for watching again. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to everyone who subscribes to the channel, everybody who becomes a channel member, and of course all my Patreon members and supporters of the channel and everything I do here. I appreciate you all more than you will know, more than I say, that's for sure. But uh, it's greatly appreciated. It keeps me rolling, keeps me get, kicking these things out. I do appreciate it, everybody. And I hope you learned something here. You got one of these bootleg boards. It's a good idea to run this circuit. All right. See you guys. Bye for now.